What is up everybody? It's Joe from JLW Games coming at you with another cool video with another Planet Coaster 2 video that uh, we're going to be talking about. Uh, this is just kind of like a part two because uh, if you haven't seen it already, I already talked about the type of coasters that we should see in Planet Coaster 2, the ones that I want to personally see. Um, so I'm doing a follow up to that video and we're going to be discussing different parts of Planet Coaster 2 and um, everything that it could um uh, that could be in there. So today we're going to be talking about the different coaster features and the coaster builder and everything we could see. Uh, these are different ideas that could really make the coaster builder amazing and even better than what it already is. Uh, if you ask me, I think Planet Coaster has one of the best coaster builders already, but there's obviously things that need to be worked on and changed as well. Um, so I know a lot of people want a node-based system. I'm going to go right out the gate saying I do not want a node-based system. I've never cared for node-based um, systems, uh, and if you wanted to uh, be easy for the casual player and advanced players uh, as well because there's going to be a lot of casual players as well. It Node-based systems just are hard to get used to and hard to um, really, <laughs> you, you know, a lot of people have very, some, some casual players, you know, they're not going to spend hours before they figure out how the coaster builder works. So they want to get right in. And I think Planet Coaster's build or piece by piece building is the best way to go. So let's get into it. The first feature I'd like to see, uh, we're going to talk about these different um, things that coasters can do, but or transfer tracks. Um, when I say transfer tracks, you might be thinking of the transfer tracks where you take trains on and off, which I think would be cool. But I'm talking about just transfer tracks in general. Um, if you look at rides like Powder Keg or any of the rides where the track just shifts around, um, either left, right, or heck, up and down like an elevator. Uh, I guess you could say elevator lifts could be kind of in that as well. Um, so I, I want to also mention that I think all of these options should be allowed on any coaster type. Allow us to do the customization. So if I wanted to do, say, a mock spinning coaster that has a transfer track, a lift hill, a launch, and also a drop track and stuff like that, which we're going to get into that in a minute. But <laughs> allow us to be able to do any of these things on any of the coaster tracks. So, uh, But transfer tracks are the first thing. The next thing is switch tracks which I think a lot of people would want and have multiple different styles of switch tracks and slash swing launches and such like that. Um, so there's different kinds of switch tracks. So make sure we put in a few of them, one where we can go up and do a swing launch with a spike and maybe do another one where um, it stops on the track and then goes back onto a different track backwards. So those are kind of like your different kinds of switch tracks that you could see, uh, but definitely those two for sure. I could see them like a uh, different styles of switch tracks. That would be really cool. And the next thing is drop tracks and allow us to, of course, uh, make sure we can edit how tall the drop track is. So if I wanted to do a 200 foot drop track, you know, make sure that's an option. <laughs> but yeah, all these different um, features of, in the coaster builder, I think should be in these different things should be allowed. And I think it would be really nice to have it on every single coaster. Uh, in the game that way you have the full customization and then maybe in like scenario editors or something you can allow or not allow certain things but in sandbox or uh, and such you should definitely allow all the coaster types to have those abilities now the next thing is heart lining that's one big thing about the coaster builder is it's not smooth it doesn't uh, smooth out as well um so i think you can make smooth coasters and planet coaster but there's a little bit of um there's a lot to it sometimes you have to do learn some smoothing methods and such like that i think my smoothing method is great for time wise and it still makes the coasters fairly smooth uh, but i think the biggest thing is heart lining i think frontier tried to do heart lining in planet coaster one with the banking offset but the the problem was is the smooth tool actually got rid of the heart lining in the in the track so uh so that that was kind of a flaw it had so if you can program the smooth tool to not get rid of that heart lining you're very much where you need to be so 
If they can just kind of perfect that, I think you can easily implement heart lining into your coasters. Obviously, uh, I think it should be optional too, obviously, if you want heart lining or not. Make it like a checkbox. Instead of like a scrolling offset, maybe like a checkbox. Like, do you want to heart line your curves and turns? And then when you go over with the smooth tool, it's not going to remove that heart lining. Um, so that's something that, that's the biggest thing I think the, um, that they need to work on. And then I think another reason why coasters didn't turn out smooth all the time was just the coaster cam is the camera for some reason jolts you uh, in between the, on every track piece. So um, there's a couple minor things that they can just fix that would make it beautiful uh, if you ask me. So, but yeah, allow everything on every coaster heart lining. Um, and then as for lifts and launches, I think we should also have lift and launches on every coaster type as well. Allow us to do everything. Don't make us <laughs> install mods like in Planet Coaster 1 to have lifts and launches on every single um, coaster type. So uh, that would be great. And the next part is going to be more advanced stuff like custom logos that I think would be awesome to put on the trains themselves. So like have a billboard system where you can upload the logo for your rides and it would allow you to really kind of theme your trains up. Um, you can make it limited to where it's only on the front of the trains, but I think it'd be cool if we could edit any part of the trains with any logos or any photos and then be able to zoom or scale them in any way that we want so like we can get it to fit the whole side of the cars or the front of the cars you know just any parts of the cars it would be nice but at the very least allow us to put logos on the front of the car uh, so we can put like the park logo or we can put the logo of the ride on there or something like that but i think we could go even a step further and this is very wishful thinking but it probably won't happen but a train editor where you can actually edit your own trains and build have different pieces of um, that you can use to create your own custom train so you can theme it the way you want or create new trains that we've never seen before. So I think that'd be actually be kind of cool to be able to create your own coaster types. I recently played a game called Indoor Lands. You may have seen that live stream. They have a custom flat ride builder. Something similar to like that would actually be really, really cool. Give us parts to be able to create wing coasters or flying coasters or do something really crazy. You can give us B&M seats, uh, you know, Vacoma seats, uh, mock ride seats, uh, Intamin seats. Just give us those and then just give us a whole nice array of different parts and pieces that we can use for that train builder and how it operates and everything. So you don't have to go too crazy, like put in too many aspects, but enough to where we can really kind of get creative and create some cool themes, but which kind of gives me into um, uh, train styles. This is something else I saw in, in uh, the game Indoor Lands. They have, even though they only have like four coaster types, they even have a mock extreme spinning coaster, by the way, Frontier, there's no reason. If that game can have an extreme spinning coaster, Planet Coaster should have a spinning, uh, extreme spinning coaster. I'm just saying. But they have different train styles. So they have, like, you select the coaster type, and then they have different themed styles, which is cool. So there's, like, a generic option. You have, like, um, some uh, other themed options. You know, you could probably do, like, a pirate theme or a fantasy theme or something like that if you didn't want to do the train editor. And, uh, Again, I, I would prefer to have the train editor to go above and beyond what we could do um, and people could create stuff that you normally don't have. But, um, you know, for the casual gamers, they can just select a style and a different theme that they want for their train style. I think that would actually be really cool. And seeing that in indoor lands really made me think like, wow, that would actually be a really cool feature to have to be able to just create the style and then you kind of solve the problem with well i don't want a generic theme but i want a theme to this and then you could still slap a logo on front of it with the billboard uh, logo you know with the billboard feature uh where you can actually do custom images so like i could theme it and then put the logo on the front or vice versa you know we, or whatever i said vice versa i don't know why but um anyways or you can do a generic theme and just um put your logo on stuff like that but i think it would be really cool to have a um a train style option for those casual people you know it'd be really really cool and you'd be able to really be able to make your coasters um unique uh and the it all goes back to the train if everyone uses the exact same train you know it's playing a coaster 
and it doesn't feel as special, doesn't feel as unique as a ride that you've created because um, you have to use the set coaster trains that Planet Coaster provides you. That there's no, uh, there's no nothing you can really do except for maybe change the colors of them, and that's about all you get. That's the only customization you get. Give us those customization options for the trains, and I think the trains are the most important one because you have it allows to create that uniqueness and that theme for that ride itself. So. And then that also, at the very least, allow us to change the colors on every train, kind of like on the older Roller Coaster Tycoon games. Uh, you can't do that in Planet Coaster. So if I wanted to have a red train, a blue train, a green train, you know, like a lot of Cedar Point coasters, you know, they have different colors and different styles of trains, which is really cool. And it's part of the experience and theming to each train. Each train has a story, which is kind of cool, you know? So that's a very small one that I think they definitely will have. Um, as well and then i think custom supports is another thing yes we have we can do custom supports in the game but allow it to be very very easy and a part of the coaster itself um give us a good array like a good selection of prefabricated supports you know like your normal supports and thicknesses so you can like change or you can choose the thickness and what style of support you want and if you want to do any complex structures you can do those separately with the scenery pieces um but just have a support editor in the coaster builder where you can just click point and click on the track where you want these support structures um this is uh was some this was available in i think theme park studio back in the day when i played theme park studio and it's actually a really nice feature so if it's an easier way for us to do that custom supporting and really have the supports we want in each spot of the track um or the ca or the casual gamer can just the casual players can just use the auto-generated supports. You can have the option of auto-generated or custom generate your own supports. And same with wooden coasters. That goes for wooden coasters as well. Have different styles of, of uh, auto-generated wood coaster supports. So you can have a very wide um, angled support structure. You know, maybe something like a GCI style kind of support structure. Or kind of like your classic wood coasters or no wide supports at all, you know, just make it to where it's easier for us um, to uh, be able to do custom supports. And then also it's only it is available on one coaster type in Planet Coaster, which is Care uh, Carowind's uh, um, Copperhead Strike uh, coaster in the game. Uh, you can actually do catwalks on left, right or both sides. I was so upset that they didn't add that to all the coaster types in the game. And uh, so that definitely needs to be the, in there as uh, as well. Um, for instance, but there's so many, uh, so many different things, uh, when it comes to the coaster builder that, um, could be really, really good. And I think that is, uh, one thing. There's one thing I was forgetting that literally hit my head that I forgot to write down, but I was going to add it at the end, but I literally just forgot. And it had to do with like a element or a coaster element, uh, or a coaster, um, function that we can't currently do. Oh, that's the tilt track. Uh, that was one of them, uh, is to be able to do the tilt track. Um, obviously, I asked for a tilt coaster, but I think it would also be cool to be able to do it in any of the um, tracks as well and just make that a feature uh, as well. And then you, all you really need is like, um, you can literally use whatever coaster type to create that tilt coaster. So I think that would be such a good um, addition as well the um but i think the coaster builder is already really good where it's at but imagine what if we if we added these few things um how much better it could be and the customization is what we really need and then just allowing more coaster trains on all the tracks kind of like what the mod allows us to do but i just think there's so much that we're kind of missing but at the same time you know, it's just <laughs> where it is. Oh, yeah. The other one is a very small one that is allowed in other ones. That's this is what I was thinking is unload stations, because um, I was like, I am going to uh, I better not forget this one. So unload stations and uh, the customer where you can do two different stations, one for loading, one for unloading. Um, you see these in a lot of coasters these days um, where you can actually unload from a different location and it helps with efficiency and it gets your guests off uh, pretty a lot faster if they're sitting on a brake run instead of, you know, just sitting there. Maybe they could be exiting at the same time while the other train's loading. That way your guests aren't sitting there and being bored to death. And 
you know, that could actually be some uh, really cool function as well. And I think having the option for a continuous moving station would also be a cool idea. Um, that's another function I think would be kind of cool. You can do a generic station or you can use a, uh, you know, your normal traditional station or you can use a continuous moving station, say like Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motor Rike Adventure, or some of the RMC Raptors where the train continuously moves. I think those would be some really good uh, additions to have as well. So I'm sure there's stuff that I missed and that's why I have you guys here to comment down below. What are some of the features you want to see in the coaster builder? So I think the coaster builder has chances to be incredible. They just need to do a few, at least some of these things. And I would be really, really happy. Um, especially all the different functions and such that I mentioned, um, and just have some more customizable, train stuff uh where you can really customize the trains in pl uh in planet coaster and just give more character to them and just give us that customization but also make it easy enough for the casual player as well so but yeah I'll go down in the comments if there's anything that i missed or what you guys want to see in the next uh planet coaster installments um i'm hoping the game comes up and we'll definitely probably be doing um the next uh the next video we'll probably talk about uh, what kind of flat rides we want to see in the game so um be sure to also comment down what flat rides you want to see so that it can kind of prep me for the next video as well so Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, I hope you guys like this little Planet Coaster 2 speculation series or our once or the, um, or kind of like our wish list. This is my wish list of Planet Coaster 2 videos. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe for more amazing content like this. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Make sure you have a great day and you cool tomorrow. Thanks so much, guys, and goodbye.